You know, it's amazing. We've mentioned this before. God gave you and me as human beings authority. He gave us dominion over everything on this earth, over all the animals, all the snakes, all the birds, all the plants, all the vegetables. Oh, okay, I see where Pat's going here. He's saying that God made man like to have dominion over things like you know animals and and vegetables and shit like that because so we can use them right that's what dominion means so you can use them for your own benefit and not feel guilty about it like vegetables you just you use them you eat them animals you can kill them or eat them or use them for labor whatever else and that's that's dominion right so i understand the point he's trying to get at uh let, let's uh finish the thought pat Cocaine is a product of a vegetable. Alcohol is a product of a vegetable. Marijuana is a vegetable. And, and Pat Robertson is a vegetable. I, what, what's your point? Uh, you, you just said that we have dominion over these things so we can use them as we see fit. And now when people like make cocaine out of coca leaves, whatever, let's not get into semantics with Pat fucking Robertson who is arguing that we have dominion over everything and we can use it how we see fit, except that when it's used to make cocaine, alcohol, or marijuana, which you don't even have to do anything. God just made marijuana. Ding! <laughs> Why would he do that? If it was meant to be illegal, you dumb old motherfuck. And yet people are enslaved to vegetables. And you were made in the image of God. God made you in his image to reign and rule with him. He gave you incredible authority. God does this. God does that. It's such an easy cop out to getting away with what you really want. Like if I want Pat Robertson to shut the fuck up, back, God wants you to shut up, Pat. See how easy that was? It's that simple. You just say, God, it's not just me. It's God. God agrees with me. Because I'm fucking so awesome. God agrees with me on every fucking opinion I have. And that's totally more plausible than I'm just making all this bullshit up. But so, so what? So if you have dominion over vegetables, and then they bring you pleasure in other ways than just eating them, or if, like, you eat marijuana, it gets you high, or smoke marijuana, it gets you high, and that brings you pleasure or whatever, how is that... Like, and even if you did become addicted, you become addicted to things because they're pleasurable. And I, But I guess that's a sin. You're not supposed to have any happiness. You're just supposed to give Pat Robertson and the 700 Club all your money and not question these things. Why would you become a slave to a vegetable? Why? Why would you do it? <laughs> that is the most appropriate question I've ever heard you ask your viewing audience. Why? Why do you enslave yourselves to a vegetable like Pat fucking Robertson? You say, well, you don't understand. Yeah, I understand. I've seen a lot of stuff going over the years that I've lived. A lot of people have a lot of problems. But I'll tell you one thing. God Almighty can deliver you from the bondage of your addiction, your slavery to vegetables. He can set you free. <laughs> Who is he addressing at this point? Like vegetarians? Your slavery to vegetables? You realize that we're like slaves to all kinds of shit. Like you're slaves to a toilet. Because um, you constantly use one. You're slaves to food because your body needs it. You're slaves to water. You know, all these other things that you have dominion over, I guess, right? God said you thou shall have dominion over the fucking pisser. Got it. <laughs> God said, thou shalt lift the lid so that the womaneth does not fall in the commodeth. Got, yeah, right. We, we got it, Pat. Human beings are the shit. It's, it's just that we're so awesome that we get addicted to the vegetables uh, like pot and cocaine, which are totally in the food pyramid. Uh, but it's okay to be addicted to vegetables like you. And he can put you in his house. You see, God didn't want to condemn you, but God wants you to be cleansed from an 
a guilty conscience that you might serve the living God. He wants your service. He doesn't want your condemnation. So I'm not here to condemn you. God's not here to condemn you. God says, listen, just give me your hand. Just give me your hand, reach out and take my hand, and I'll lift you out of this bondage, and I'll give you freedom, and I'll put you in the place you're supposed to be in charge of things. Now, if you want that, right now, I want you to bow your head and pray with me this very day. Pray these words, Jesus, you know how I have been a slave to an addiction that has been destroying me and my family. But Lord, I know you died to set me free. And so at this moment, I turn away from that which is destroying me. I command it to leave me and I take your salvation. And from this moment on, Lord, I am yours. And thank you that you are mine. Thank you, Lord. I receive your salvation in Jesus name. Amen. And there you have it, uh, rehab for Christians, I guess. Just just go, Jesus, do it, Jesus, and, and you're just cured. And that's the Christian version of rehab. It, you fuck 12 steps. With, there's one step. Just pray for it, and it'll happen to you. And amen. Now, if you prayed that prayer with me, God Almighty has heard, and he's answered. I want you to do something, though. I want you to call and tell us what you've just done. I have something I want to give you. It's a little packet. There's a CD that says what's happened next. If any man's in Christ, he is a new creation. So as if that wasn't bad enough, I've got one more quick Pat Robertson video for you. This one was just too good to pass up. Enjoy. All right. Well, Linda says, the Bible tells us Jesus and his disciples cast out demons. Are there still demons in the world as, as they were back then? I know there's evil, but have not heard anything regarding this. Uh, it's amazing that uh, uh, the devil is present, but he's got everybody thinking he's a myth. Yeah. And uh, he's real. Demons are real. They're, they're, they're uh, angels that fell. Uh, when Satan rebelled against God, and they're in the world, and they're little demons out trying to destroy human beings. They hate people, and they're doing the will of their father, who is Satan. Well then, I guess that explains why this old fuck thinks addiction can be cured with prayer. <laughs> because he thinks there's little demons out there trying to fuck with humans. Because they're fallen angels, and they serve Satan. You know, that's that's how demonic powers are and demons. They're real. So, so Pat, tell us, how, how do people like deal with demons? I, I'm I'm really curious. So are they there? Yes, there are. But but most people don't know what a demon is like. And you get these people who are into demon casting out ministry and it's a lot of hokum and they can do a lot of, of psychological damage to people telling them they have demons. So I uh, just be careful. But yes, demons are real. I, I, the prayer I like is Satan, I bind you and the forces of evil. And that takes care of demons. Right. I bind you, Satan, and the forces of evil and cast you out. That's it. So if you, if you paid attention there, uh, Exorcism is a bunch of poof, but demons are real and they do affect people. So the way to get rid of them is with the simple, quick, I guess, spell. Oh, I mean, prayer that Pat just gave you. Demon, I bind you in the name of the Lord or Jesus or some shit. The power of Christ compels you. The power of Christ compels you. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> What a complete fucking joke. Oh, God. Go ahead and just die already, Pat. Go ahead and take your ass to heaven as quick as you fucking can. The earth is, will be fine without you. Until next time, Cocktopus out.